Okay, this next recipe is for Nul Carbonara. Serves four, cook time 30 minutes. Delicate melt in your mouth. Egg noodles are tossed in a creamy Italian style homemade sauce for a twist on, twist on traditional carbonara sauce. Noodle carbonara is sure to be a family favorite. You need 12 ounces of uncooked egg noodles, eight bacon slices cut into one inch pieces, two cups of half and half, three garlic cloves, and they have to be chopped. Nothing less than chopped. One cup of grated Parmesan cheese, divided. A qu quarter of a teaspoon of salt. Half a teaspoon of black pepper. One cup of frozen peas, which can be found in the frozen vegetable section of your freezer section of the supermarket. Two tablespoons of chopped fresh parsley can, is really going to bring it all together. All, it's going to make it colorful. Not just as a garnish. Here's what you do. You cook the egg noodles. According to the package directions, drain and keep it warm in a serving bowl. While in a large nonstick skillet or medium high heat, you cook the bacon until it's crisp. That's 8 to 10 minutes and drain on a paper towel lined plate. That is very, very important. <laughs> While in that same skillet over medium heat, you heat the half and half with the garlic until it bubbles from, until it bubbles from around the edges. Then you whisk in three quarters of a cup of cheese, salt and pepper, just until it starts to thicken up. Stir in the bacon, the peas, and the parsley, and cook low, cook over low heat for five minutes, and you stir it occasionally. And that's very important because you don't want the sauce to curl or anything, and you don't, and you definitely do not want to burn, and you don't want to burn your bacon either. Because nobody wants burnt bacon in this carbonara. Or burnt pancetta. No. Then finally, you pour it over the noodles and toss until evenly coated. Sprinkle with the remaining Parmesan cheese. You serve it immediately. And this is definitely a great take on the original, on, on your traditional pasta carbonara dish. With egg noodles. So it saves you... From having to use the egg yolk, so I think that's a very nice idea, and you will too, and your family's gonna love it. Everybody will. Log on to MrFood.com, look for this recipe, and your you, it's, this recipe is going to be great on your table, served with a salad and breadsticks. I mean, you've got yourself a meal. You really do. So that's gonna do it. I got more recipe coming up, and it's gonna be another slow cooker one. So. Stay tuned and see what it's going to be. I hope to catch you on the flip side.